Yo, what is up? It is your boy Empty. Today we'll be showcasing Chobe. Now, I know I didn't get him, but you know, big Sag. But my homie Flame ended up lending me his. So we're gonna go over what he does and what equipment you should put on him. So let's just jump right into it. His skill is able to increase his attack by 30%. His normal arch is able to reduce enemies' break resistance by 40% for 25 seconds. His true arch is able to autofill his arch gauge by one and increases his break power by 30%. This stacks a lot, by the way. And his super arch is able to increase his damage by 60% and autofills his arch gauge by two for 65 seconds. This also stacks. His passives are God and Demon Killer level seven and his own special passive Bandit King is able to ignore enemies' defense by 100% when his HP is 80% or more and increases on arch gauge by 100 when the quest starts and his special letters is able to give him 10 arts and the unit xp up level 2 for the physical slot you can put izanagi or you could go ahead and put curse light sword for arts if you want to do break you can go ahead and put ganon and duke's panties or you can also put in bakuzan if you want to do more break power for the defense slot, you can go ahead and put something like Reyes Aloha shirt, which is pretty good. If you want to do more attack, Sekiteko is the way to go. If you want to mitigate some more damage, you can go with Sandstone's true weapon, and you can also put something like Goblin Slayer's helmet. And for the four star slot, you can go with Red Lake Mav for more break. All right, so me and the boy Flame ended up putting him up against the new Crest Palace with Dark Cilia, and we ended up just like clearing the first two waves easily and so we could get to regulus right away so right here is where we need to break him and this is where his damage is going to come through now i ended up doing like a normal art and a true art a few times with uh fen and of course the boy shiro because well i wanted to showcase mainly the damage that chobe could do but i didn't think it mattered either way because he was going to be doing hella deeps and he was just going to keep increasing his own break and his arts up every single time so we just have so many arts and you can see the amount that's stacking already on him which is insane i will say we could have normal art a few times but you know it's completely fine that true arch is just constantly buffing himself up and you're gonna see the amount of stacks this man has he has so much already on him everybody else has stacks on him too but it's mainly himself just giving him all his stacks we do get an unlimited blade works here so we could probably try to do some damage of our own we of course just end up trying to get another true art off with fen and you're gonna see that he's just constantly just getting stuff stacked up we end up doing a super art here which is going to increase his attack and look at that just the break meter just went down like by a whole lot and it's only been a short amount of time too so here we go we're just doing the damn thing just cycling through arts true arts super arts all that he's going to do another uh true arts here to give himself another stat like bro look at this look at look at the insane amount of stacks he has on himself we're able to get a super art off here with chobe and he ends up breaking him immediately and now we're just waiting for the super arts to build up on both shiro fen and him again because he is giving himself arts by the way um it's we're just gonna get it immediately that way we could just hopefully like deal a big damaging blow to him and we do of course uh the homie ends up popping the true dark bringer which i forgot to mention you can also put equipment that can will buff up his attack especially if it's like light res down or anything else just to do more damage we get up to the second phase and he tries to just kill us but you know we're saying no you know i put up that normal art with shiro and the boys will live and doing a normal art with the boyfriend so we can get that uh equipment ct up that way we go all that stuff but look he's still stacking he's still stacking it's above the homie's name at this point once we have passed the second threshold it just becomes easy mode from here on now he's just he's just gonna die to be honest with you it's like not even worth like even keeping up the fight you don't need to break him anymore we're just with the amount of stacks that uh chobe has he is the pure definition of raw damage and it's insane how much he is stacking on them so still continuously the break bar just keeps going down and it's just completely just makes making easy work easy work out of regulus and we just end up clearing him immediately and just moving on to the next stage after this stage of course it is going to be fina and fina doesn't really do anything special to us she just has like shield killer but we ended up just clearing her very easily we just end up doing a, a lot of damage her true art like didn't really matter as much but we do end up getting to the actual boss and here is where we start to shine because the break no longer matters but what we're going to be doing is we're mainly just going to be going to be doing a lot of damage mainly so Chobe is just true arting, super arting like as much as he wants here. And the amount of damage he's just outputting by himself is actually insane. I was doing a bit of uh, art genning with 
uh, Fen. I did want to super art with him a few times, but I didn't. I ended up just doing that with uh, Shiro, and just he's just getting everything back. It's actually insane what he's just able to do by himself. Of course, the we're getting hit really hard, but at the same time we're not because like you know Shiro ends up like you know mitigating a lot of that stuff out of the way. Um, and yeah, we're just chilling. We're chilling for the most part. Chobe is actually insane. Another super art. We're going to get to the second phase here. Uh, but look, we even get past the second phase a little bit. Do a little bit of a true art here with the boyfriend. A nice little normal art with uh, Shiro. But we're completely fine. We're okay. We're not going to have to worry about anything. Um, I do a super art here just in case. But you know, we're, we're chilling for the most part. Of course... Here goes the true arts with the boys, and here comes Chobe straight afterwards when she appears. And he just gives himself some more art, some more break, and is just, bro, look at this. It's just Melton. It is Melton the boss. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, how is this allowed? How do you do this much raw damage, bro? How do you do this much raw damage? I thought he was going to be a nuker. He can be. That's the thing. He can be. But when it comes to endgame content like this, when it needs a breaker or something like that, I think he's probably one of the best. I know Chloe is considered like the best breaker. She gives art. She knows she's able to give everybody some great power up and stuff. But holy crap, Chobe can carry a lot of the stuff by himself. And it's actually insane. I honestly do believe he's probably maybe i think the best unit on the banner that could be completely controversial opinion but i feel like he could honestly be the best because of that and being put in sustain comps like with him is like extremely good for one we're going to need breakers moving forward with a gs meta and how it's moving but chobe is actually insane and here we get to the of course the end all be all apocalypse we do a normal art here with shiro we're going to be living through this we're completely fine and just some heals with Haruto. Like, who cares? Look, look, who cares, you know? Who cares when you could just live through this stuff and then just, you know, a nice little normal art here because why not with Chobe? But look at this. Of course, we did not get a uh, 5 plus, which is too bad. But Chobe is an insane breakers and damage dealer. Like, he is actually nuts. And of course, we end up looking at his like a damage output and you're going to be shocked bro so you would think fen would do all the damage no chobe is nuts chobe is insane 37 million damage bro and fen didn't come close neither did Cheryl. but holy crap chobe is nuts literal definition of raw damage but yeah let me know what you all think hopefully y'all enjoyed this showcase thank you once again to the homie flame for uh actually lending me his chobe that way we could actually show it off i wish i got him uh now that i'm looking at him like i can kind of see why people like him more than yuzu like i said yuzu is not really needed but chobe's i i keep saying this he's he's a fun unit like even just by looking at him and then just doing all that stuff that like we just did he's a fun unit and hopefully we get him like in the half off or the ticket summons video or something you know but let me know what you all think hopefully you all enjoyed this video hopefully i showcased him like perfectly and if i missed anything let me know down below if you're brand new to the channel please subscribe comment down below what you think and yeah thank you all for your recent support and i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.